Hi guys, you bored? Kids bored? Let's have some fun. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do some really cool things at home. Today, we're going to be doing some painting using acrylic paints, not the normal enamel paints that I regularly use. So let's have a look at what's on the table and the tools we're going to be using and the things we're going to need to get ourselves going. Now I have a small selection of really nice bright colours of, of these gorgeous acrylic paints. They're very safe to use guys, okay? So the only thing we're going to need really is just some imagination and pretty much nothing else. So let's go through some of the things we're going to need on the table. We're going to be using some sponges, they're really exciting. We'll probably be cutting some of those up. We're going to use a window squeegee. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. Some very, very uh, interesting just small brushes to use. And we're going to be using some cardboard. And uh, I'm going to use actually what the paints came in. Check that out. So we're going to cut some of that up in a little uh, while. I'm going to make some applicators with it. So hopefully this is all stuff that you've got around the home. We're just going to keep everything really, really basic, but you're going to be amazed by what we can do with it all. So we're going to need somewhere to paint on, ladies and gents. So if you've got a table at home or a flat surface, most important thing is we get it covered so we don't get paint everywhere. So let's get on with that, shall we? Okay, that's that done. Now on to the next bit. So now we've got the table sorted out, it's time to look at ourselves. Now if you've got some old clothes, it's probably a really good idea that you put them on. Getting covered in paint is fun, but let's be honest, we don't want to get it everywhere. Or perhaps like me, you've got an apron. Uh, so I think uh, back time to get ourselves geared up and let's get on with some painting, shall we? Perfect. Right, I'll adjust my microphone and then we'll get going. Let's get some tools ready. First thing I'm going to do is make ourselves a couple of spreaders. Now, in a bid to recycle, I'm going to take the box that the uh, paints came in, or one of the boxes, and let's just cut that up. So all we really want to do now is make a spreader, because one of the really cool things about acrylic paint is that you can spread it all over the place and make some fantastic shapes and colours. So I'm going to cut that into two, and then just literally just fold it over. Nice, sharp, clean line across there. Pinch it with your fingers. And then we've got our first spreader. We'll do that a couple of times because we're probably going to need two or three of these. So you can see me just giving that a good press. And this will be our surface for manoeuvring the paint around, okay? So that's that. Let's do a slightly bigger one because we might get really quite into this. <laughs> so this is just a piece of cardboard from a box from something that was delivered here. So I've just cut one of the lips off it. It's a nice hard edge. If you want to, run over it with the scissors. And there we go, our first three tools. Okay, brilliant. So the next thing I want to look at is the sponges. Now you'll have probably have these in your home. These are just standard washing up sponges. So they've got a little bit of scour on one side and sponge obviously on the other. So we're just gonna literally attack these with the scissors. You can literally do anything with these. I'm gonna make a couple of points. So here we go. So the first one there, look, so that's a little pointy one. So we're gonna use that one and trim that off a little bit. It's so easy to do. Kids, if you're watching this, then you might want to get a grown-up to attack this with the scissors for you. So uh, make sure you ask uh, before you do that. So let's do the next one as a rounded one. So we're just going to use, get in with the scissors, give it a bit of a squeeze, make a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a round shape at the end. Now what might be interesting later on is that we're going to use the scary end as well. So we've got a pointy one, a non-pointy one. Let's go right across the middle and make two. So that could be an interesting one with a great big flat edge. So there's three that we've got. And I'll tell you what, let's do the last one. Let's make a few little nicks out of it. There we go. Because that might be really cool as well. So all we're really doing is just having a play about, guys, with just the sponges. Make some nice shapes, cut bits out. You'd be amazed what we do with that. So there we are. There's our first couple of tools all ready to go. So the other two things we're going to use today are some paint brushes. These are just some very cheap ones. I think these are about three pounds for the entire lot. So about five bucks uh, from my uh, local hobby and craft shop. And the last one is the window squeegee or window scraper. If you've got one of these, go grab it now. 
and yeah, we, we're going to have some a lot of fun with that. And the paint does come off very easily. In fact, if you get it on your hands, you know, I'm not wearing gloves today. Don't worry, just get your hands under some running warm water and they clean up in a heartbeat. And so do all your tools, okay? So that's why we've got the water here. Right, that's the tools done. Let's have a look at the canvas. This is an 80 centimeter square canvas, which we've made up uh, for purposes of doing this today. Now you can get, you can get inexpensive canvases from a lot of different places. It doesn't have to be an art supply shop. A lot of the bargain and thrift shops tend to have them as well uh, in various thicknesses, but around nine or 10 pounds, so 12, 13 dollars, gets you this kind of size of canvas. So you know, that's what we're gonna be using today. So I think we should just probably just get on, shall we? It's time to create, but what are we going to paint? Maybe you'll find some inspiration in here. Maybe there's some colors you like or some styles that take your fancy. I mean, we've got lines, so there could be a mountain of things in here that might appeal to you. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at the backgrounds. Now, it may be that you wanted to cover the whole of the canvas with, say, a background, so you can do something over the top. Now, whilst we're not gonna do that in the painting demo today, I do want to show you what you would do if you want to do a background on your painting. So I'm just gonna take our canvas out of the way for a second. And I've got a piece that I've cut, a flat canvas under here, just to show you really what you would do. So if this is something that you wanna do on your canvas, let me show you a quick technique to do it. Fairly quickly, pretty efficiently, and using some of the tools we've already got. Now, the reason why I'm not gonna do this today, ladies and gentlemen, it's just because with the volume of paint I'm gonna be using, by the time I've spread all this out and got my background, it's probably gonna take an hour to two hours to dry. So I don't really want to have that sort of downtime. So, but if you wanna do it, this is essentially what we're gonna do. We're squeezing the paint straight onto the canvas, nice and simple. Remember our nice bit of cardboard we've got. We're now gonna use this very flat and we're gonna maneuver it around. Now see what's happening, I'm just using two colors. And these two colors are gonna get moved around just nice and slowly. Or oh, maybe I'll go left, maybe I'll go right. And this is gonna pop me my base coat on. I call them base coats, you can call it a background, it doesn't really matter. But just bear in mind, the more that you move it around, the more the paints blend together. So you will lose some of the blue and white separating. And ultimately, it will just be this really nice light blue colour. So that's up to you. You can do what, there you are, like I'll show you. You can do exactly what you want. If you want that as a nice even colour all the way around, you've got a couple of choices. You can mix it before you put it on. But I quite like this, I don't know, mottled <laughs> kind of tone shift that you get when you put them into two separate colours on the canvas. And actually, it's pretty simple, very straightforward hasn't required any special tools and within oh i don't know a matter of 60 seconds we've just got our base coated canvas so that can go off to dry and then you re can return to that a little bit later on if you want to so that is how we do our backgrounds okay now we've done our background and made a bit of a mess <laughs> let's get the tabletop cleaned down and then we can get on with the canvas Right, let's get some colours together. Now these are going to be the colours that I'm going to use. So let's pull them out. Now I may start adding to these as we go on, <laughs> but certainly for now, these are definitely the ones that I want to use. And we'll choose that one as well. There we go. So that's my first wave of colours that I'm going to get on. We've got Viridian, which is like a turquoisey colour, beautiful rose, a lovely deep orange, got a big magenta that's going to look fantastic a bright yellowy green lime green and a zesty lemon yellow okay let's start getting them on shall we so first kind of things we're going to be tackling is making some lines so there with the exception of one colour, are our first few colours. And I'm going to dot the yellow in between. Okay. Right, you ready? 
Okay, watch what happens next. We're going in with the squeegee. Now don't worry if you haven't got one of these because I'm going to show you how to do it without a squeegee as well. So are we ready? Let's go. Very happy. <laughs> okay, so we've got the first lot of paint on. What I'm going to do now is go in a different direction. I'm going to use three other colours. We're going to use violet to start with, and I'm going to use this band here. So, again, similar kind of thing. Let's get a squeeze of paint on. Next one I'm going to go in is red. And after that, let's go for a blue. And we're still going to use the, oh, that's got a good noise. And we're still going to use the uh, squeegee. And we're going to pull them now the opposite way. And hopefully, one lot of paint's going to start mixing with the other very shortly. And we're going to get some very interesting lines coming out. There we go. Look. Now, don't forget, I've also got a lot of paint left on from what I've just scraped off. So every time we now scrape, we get colours mixing together. So there's the next one. So we're going to carry on now. You watch what happens each time we go along it with the squeegee. So are we ready for some more colours? Let's carry on. So the next colours we're going to attack will be some light and dark ones. And we're going to go for a light and dark stripe up here. So I'm definitely going to go for black. I'm definitely going to go for white. And because I want to lighten things up a little bit, I'm going to go for, I can't even pronounce that, but it's a, it's a really nice bright sort of fleshy orange. And this is a really good strong primary yellow. So let's get those on. What I'm not going to do, that's about my line. What I'm not going to do here is put the white next to the black because I don't want to make gray with it. So I'm then going to go in with the yellow. There was a good combination together. That's nice. Whoop. That's quite liquid. Oh, that's gone everywhere. This is great. Look at that. Now we're getting to the mess. <laughs> and we'll go for the white in the centre. And we're going to repeat that process. We'll go over it back with the squeegee again. Remember all the nice colours we've already got on here. There we go. So let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. The black's going to add a nice bit of depth on there because we're going to keep repeating this process until we build up all the colours. Nice. Now, can you see on there exactly what's happening? Beautiful. A real, real mishmash of rainbowy colours on there. I'm really liking that. So we're just going to keep repeating this process now and uh, see what other colours we can get on there. I'm now going to concentrate on the other piece of white canvas that's here. And for this, I'm going to get some green and I'm going to drag from this way over to the other side. So let's get the green on first. That green and magenta together is going to look really nice. I'm then going to go in with my red. Yeah. Smashing straight out the tube. No, no water or anything required. You can thin these paints down with water. But we'll have a look at that in a little while and show you what happens with that. Big splodge of purple because I really want to fill that up. Now. If you don't have one of those, then you can use, well, this is the box that the, the paints came in. So I'm just going to use the box instead and I'll show you exactly what happens with that. So let's just turn it that way and we're going to do exactly the same and we're just going to scrape it. Now I can't see what's happening. There we go. Now this should be covering everything, hopefully. There we go. Drag it back with the box. All the way to the end. Nice. Okay, we are getting some colour on now. So we're going to repeat this process and I'm just going to go one way then the other. So this was my last way through. So now I'm going to go that way and then that way and just keep adding the lines up. So let's see how we get on, shall we?
So now we've got the canvas covered. Uh, what I'm going to do is look at the sides and look what we've got. We've got all this lovely paint mixed in on here. So I'm going to take some off here and I'm just going to start dabbing in. Remember we had the sponges, just dabbing in on the sides. And it really is just as simple as that. And all we've really got to do is just pick out the colours because all the colours are featured on the canvas and start really just dabbing that in around the sides. If you've got any high points you want to get rid of, look, I can see some white there. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put that on the side as well. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the sides finished off. Now, don't worry. <clears throat> if your paint starts to go a dusky pink or a dark brown colour, just reach for a tube and start dabbing around the side. It really is that simple. So to finish this off, I need to prop the canvas up just so I can finish the edges off. And use a few of our household sponges just to pop into the corners. And then that's gonna let me take it away from the table and just give it the finishing touches. Right guys, that's me done. Check that out. How happy is that? You know, this is just for fun. Don't be afraid of the paint. Get out there and have a go. I hope you're inspired to have a go today. Do let us know in the comments if that's what you've done. Happy painting everyone. So guys, all done. Now on the next video, we're gonna be trying a brand new technique. So that's definitely one not to miss. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then give us a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.